And now we'll look at several examples of determining the five number summary range, interquartile range, and outliers, as well as creating a box plot when we have an even number and odd number of data. Notice in this example, we have 10 data values that give the number of text messages per day. The first step is to order the data from least to greatest, which I've already done here on the right to save time. Let's begin by determining the five number summary, which is the minimum, quartile one, the median, quartile three, and the maximum. It's important to recognize though, there are different methods for determining quartile one, quartile three, as well as outliers. In this video, to find quartile one and quartile three, we'll be using the Moore and McCabe method, where the quartile one is the median of the lower half of the data, not including the median, and quartile three is the median of the upper half of the data, again, not including the median. And then for the outliers, we'll use Tukey's method, where the outliers will be values that are less than quartile one minus 1.5 times the interquartile range, or greater than quartile three plus 1.5 times the interquartile range, where the interquartile range is Q3 minus Q1. Let's begin by determining the median as well as quartile one and quartile three. Well, the median is the value in the middle when the data is ordered from least to greatest. And because we have 10 data values, there are actually two values in the middle, 26 and 28. Because we have two values in the middle, the median is going to be the mean or average of 26 and 28. So the median is 26 plus 28 divided by two, which is equal to 27. So the median is 27. And now let's find quartile one, which is the median of the lower half of the data, or the median of these five data values. Because we have an odd number of data values, the median of the lower half is going to be a data value in the list. This is 24. Notice there are two values to the left and right of 24 on the lower half of the data. So this is quartile one. And then quartile three is the median of the upper half, which would be 34. Notice there are two values to the left and right of 34 in the upper half of the data. And of course the minimum is 18 and the maximum is 65. And therefore the five number summary is 18, comma, 24, comma, 27, comma, 34, comma, and 65. Next, we're asked to find the range and interquartile range, where the range is the maximum minus the minimum, and the interquartile range is Q3 minus Q1. So the range is 65 minus 18. 65 minus 18 is equal to 47. The interquartile range is Q3 minus Q1, which is 34 minus 24, which is equal to 10. And now we need to find the outliers. To help us determine the outliers, we first need to calculate Q1 minus 1.5 times the interquartile range, as well as Q3 plus 1.5 times the interquartile range. Well, Q1, we already know, is 24. So we have 24 minus 1.5 times the interquartile range, which is 10 which is equal to 24 minus 15, which is equal to nine, which means any data values less than nine would be an outlier. Notice how we don't have any data values less than nine. And now let's find Q3 plus 1.5 times the interquartile range, which is 34 plus 1.5 times 10, which is equal to 34 plus 15, which is equal to 49. Any data values more than 49 are outliers. Notice how this indicates 65 is an outlier. So we'll go ahead and record 65 as the outlier. And now we'll make the box plot or box and whisker plot. We begin with a number line that includes all the data values. Notice how the data values go from 18 to 65. The number line goes from 10 to 70. Let's first plot the five number summary. So we make a point at 18, 24, 27, 34, 
and 65. The next step is to create the box from quartile one to quartile three, which is here. Draw a line segment through the median. Now you need to be careful here because 65 is an outlier. So on the right, we are not going to draw a whisker all the way out to 65. The next value less than 65 is 41. So we plot 41, which is here. 41 will be the end of the whisker on the right. And then we leave the point at 65, indicating 65 is an outlier. On the left, 18 is not an outlier, and therefore we sketch the whisker from Q1 to the minimum. Sometimes you will see small vertical segments at the end of the whiskers like this. And now we have the box plot or box and whisker plot for the given data, including the outlier. I hope you found this helpful.